Hello my friends! It's been a while, but we are finally back with Master Jakub and in new episode of Lords of the Blades we're gonna explain you everything about walking sticks for self-defense and even sword cane and we have one that also shoots. Uh, so... Let's get started! Ah! So Master Jakub, we have a lot of example here on this table but I would like to know how it all began with the walking stick and sword cane? Why people start to using it? So I suppose uh, that uh, using of uh, stick or like this for self-defense is as old I, as a human mm -hmm. beings. But especially in Europe, it's uh, from 18th and 19th century. Why? Because uh, aristocracy had. Uh, costume rapier or small sword uh, like normal dress sword and used it uh, not uh, for it's for fashion one. but also for uh, self-defense this one is for example a Spanish rapier from 17th century mm -hmm. and from a second part of 18th century habit uh, using uh, costume sword uh, become not so popular uh, so aristocracy and upper class uh, was uh, very well trained in fencing it was very popular sport in uh, not only sport but uh, martial art in this period mm -hmm. and uh, for this reason uh, uh, after don't wearing of rapier uh, uh, this uh, can sword uh, become very popular uh -huh, uh -huh. so it was more they want to have something conceivable like they don't want to show the weapon at first they want to have like a something maybe they could wear in the public and stuff like that, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because using a staff was not only for people with uh, health problems, like we are <laughs> after uh, heavy training, uh, but it was also fashion. Uh, so healthy mm -hmm. people used this walking stick uh, very usually, and uh, it was uh, not so far from idea to use it for self-defense or uh, put inside, uh, for example, uh, small sword, dagger, rapier, etc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, by the way, of course, using of uh, stick for self-defense was not only in Europe, also in old Japan, uh, Korea, uh, uh -huh, India, uh -huh. etc. Uh -huh. uh, for example, this one is walking stick with silver head. I suppose that if we are using uh, uh, walking stick for a fight, it's uh, two strategy. First one is uh, light but fast uh, weapons for bl for uh, blows like this and the uh, mm -hmm. second one is with heavy smashing uh, sm sm smashing heads mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, it's not so fast but uh, it's very uh, with very uh, strong uh, smashing effect uh, by the way we will uh, show you some uh, smash test Wow guys, look at that. With this side of the walking stick, look at the damage. On the cabbage, it's definitely softer than the human analog, but look at that. You can imagine, you would get smacked with this, it's definitely caused some serious damage. And now we can try opposite side. <laughs> Look at the devastation guys, <laughs> after the two hits with the other side, the cabbage is in pieces. But this one is most powerful. Definitely devastating, wow. It's something like African uh, uh, war club or South America, 18th century Indians uh, weapon, it's very uh, strong power, I was surprised. This one is interesting, uh, it's, uh, uh, this part is made from silver with health marks and very nice. I suppose it's uh, first uh, half of uh, 20th century. Uh, and uh, because it's made uh, by silver, maybe it should be suitable for uh, vampire killing. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Master Jakub, uh, this example also caught my eye because it looks it's just like an ordinary stick from yes. the wood. Yes, it's an ordinary stick but made from very hard uh, and very difficult to break wood. So uh -huh. if you are swinging with it, it could be uh, very good for self-defense. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in French exist martial arts uh, uh, called lacan. Lacan means mean walking stick and uh, it is a, a good example of very light uh, but also very good fighting uh, walking stick. Mm -hmm. I heard from you that uh, yeah, in, in the Irish is something a uh, mm -hmm. little different uh, fighting uh, Yeah, they uh, have strategy. shalala that's like a, with a bigger head but it's also on the... It's also so, stick so, from the wood. So, uh, this is uh, for uh, head fighting. Uh, uh, by the way, it's checkmate from 19th century and mm -hmm. here is uh, Czech uh, uh, national hero Jan Žižka, hero of start of 15th century wars. Žižka head was good for Smash. opponent uh, hitting. <laughs> he was strong headed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And now we have the next category, Master Jakub. Can you tell us a little bit more about this type? Ah, this is one, uh, my favorite one. It's uh, from French, from 19th century. It's uh, some rapier inside and very dangerous weapon. Mm -hmm. Really very dangerous. I was surprised in a test how easily uh, it's possible to stop into the target. Uh, you can see it in our, in our tests. Very interesting weapon. This is a there, historical original? This or, historical original from mm -hmm. uh, 19th century. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, there are two kinds of uh, can swords. Uh, mm -hmm. One is uh, for, especially for stabbing. It's possible to cut with this light uh, blade as well, but not so uh, deeply. Mm -hmm. And second one is like this. It's uh, French 19th century. Also possible to use for cutting. Ah, okay. Not only for stabbing, but also for cutting. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to have like a universal type or would you rather have just for the trusting? Uh, I prefer this one uh, because it's uh, not uh, so big uh, and uh, if I'm walking with, with this stick it's uh, not uh, so uh, catching. Uh, yeah. uh, but this one is uh, more big one and uh, if somebody is yes. uh, watching it, maybe is uh, supposing that is something inside. This one definitely <laughs> looks a little bit more dangerous than this yes, one. Yes. This just looks like a normal wood. I would have yeah. no idea that is something yes. inside. It's uh, often in some uh, movies, uh, Kingsman's, uh, Sherlock Holmes, etc. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, last one, European uh, piece is this one. Ah. It's some spare head, mm -hmm. which is uh, fixed by a bayonet uh, modus, uh, so I take this point from my pocket, fix it uh, to yeah. the stick and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can use it for stabbing. Mm -hmm. But I suppose that it was not weapon, it was uh, uh, for hunters after finishing in mm -hmm. injured uh, animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a finishing, last finishing blow with yes, this, yes. I think it was definitely. So Very easy to actually, wow, Could put it outside. Very I suppose that a lot of uh, can uh, swords is from French, I suppose it was very popular mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. And last one is uh, Japanese one. It is so-called Shikomi Katana. It's new reproduction, uh, but made from quite good steel. So we will uh -huh. show you some cutting tests with it. Mm -hmm. uh, in Japan, uh, using bamboo walking stick was quite popular. So hidden sword in all Japan was in uh, this design. It's made from wood, not from bamboo, but it's uh, some uh, imitation of uh, uh, bamboo and, and uh, of course inside is uh, regular uh, uh, blade most shikomizue or hidden sword in old uh, japan mm -hmm. is with a uh, short blade especially wakizashi size mm -hmm. from 30 to 60 centimeters this one is katana size so blade is more than uh, 60 centimeters in length mm -hmm. and master yakub uh, these swords were not forbidden in the japan for common people Everybody was able to. Uh, it was very or? typical, especially after Haito Rei was uh, forbidding of uh, public wearing of swords mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. Meiji period uh, in uh, 80, 70, 70 year. Mm -hmm. So samurai uh, to this period uh, had a, a pride uh, uh, pub, pub, of public wearing of a pair of sword, katana or wakizashi, ah, okay. maybe uh, you remember mm -hmm. or older episode about uh, Japanese uh, weapons, mm -hmm. but after uh, westernization of Japan and uh, of uh, Meiji period, 
uh, samurai lost possibility of wear uh, uh, swords in public and uh, ah. was very unhappy. So mm -hmm. for this reason, uh, hidden sword uh, was a solution of this problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. And but of course, uh, it's not only Meiji period. Uh, uh, weapon, uh, for example, in end of 16th century, uh, famous uh, warlord uh, Nobunaga Oda had uh, some uh, shikumizu as well. And uh, Master Jakub, did this um, martial art survive till today? Do we have like a still the sticks that people yes, are yes. using for this? Uh, in some countries, it is uh, legal. In in some, it's legal, but this is uh, newly made fighting uh, stick. <laughs> Wow! Look at that boat size pouring out so fast and really no effort guys. And why uh, popularity of uh, walking uh, sticks uh, for the self-defense decreased? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, after uh, wars of 20th century, public safety in Europe uh, become uh, wider and it's one uh, new game changer and it's uh, like this. Old pistols wo was quite big and very difficult to wear, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, new technology made pistols for self-defense very small and uh, it was a uh, very good solution uh, for uh, self-defense. So for this reason, uh, I suppose uh, from uh, mm -hmm. about 20s of 20th century, sticks for uh, self-defense uh, decreased uh, yeah. in uh, using, mm -hmm. yes. But so you told us that this one actually have uh, more solution, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's very interesting. Something uh, like from Secret a Agents movies. Mm -hmm. It's shooting uh, walking sticks. So we show you uh, how to use it in a uh, real combat. Another way how you could use this sword cane would be maybe throwing. It's definitely not traditional, but it's definitely possible. We are going to show you with Master Jakub. Yes, because uh, cane sword is very good for short distance uh, self-defense, but mm. in case of weapons like pistols, uh, we will try uh, use it for long distance as well. So first time, no sting. Wow! And let's see guys, I want to show you. These things go, look at this on the other side. They're going through any object so easily. So this is really insane and so easy to throw. Let's do more throws. All right guys, this sword cane surprised us really so much because we did with the Master Jakub throwing everything on the first try and the penetration was really insane. Uh, but now Master Jakub have in his hands this sword and I realize it's uh, very sharp. We did a little mm. test of the camera and it wasn't so good. So Master Jakub, a little bit explain what you're gonna try and yes. what it is. Uh, now it is uh, Shikumizu or Japanese uh, can sword. Uh, in the movie, like uh, Zatoichi, it's often used uh, in uh, Gekute grip. Uh, but I suppose it's uh, only in movies. But I will try uh, make uh, some cuts uh, in this manner. And after that, try cut uh, as uh, usual uh, Japanese sword, uh, Tenouchi or uh, handle grip. It's called uh, Honte. It's called Gekute. And we saved the best for the last guys. This is the cane that shoots. 
So Master Jakub are going to actually show you how it all works and from the details also the loading mechanism. So enjoy. Yes, ammunition is uh, 9mm flobat. It's uh, legal in all country in Czech Republic. First step. Second step. Removing of old one and putting inside new one. Now preparing mm. this mechanism. And because uh, now is Halloween, uh, all target is pumpkin. Wow! Come on guys, let's see. What? Look at that, here is the entry hole. And actually, it went through. Did you expect this? Wow! So guys, as you were able to see today, there are a lot of types of sword canes, walking sticks, and all of them are very deadly. Right, Master Jakub? Yes, I completely agree. Fighting stick is very deadly weapon. Uh, if you are trying it uh, uh, with you, proper using of it, we really enjoyed our tests and uh, we hope that uh, we can uh, meet in the uh, next interesting episode. Definitely, guys. And also, let us know in the comment section below which uh, sword cane or the walking stick was your favorite. But for today, that's it. So, thank you everyone for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. <laughs>